Demetrius Andrade versus Willie Nelson is taking place tonight in a few short hours. This is my prediction video, my last minute prediction. I've been very, very busy this week, so ain't really had the time or opportunity to do many videos. I'm gonna try to catch up tonight with a few. So starting off here, first off, I'm just gonna tell you my prediction outright. I think that Demetrius Andrade is gonna win this fight, probably on points with the possibility of a late stoppage, but I'm gonna go on points. These are two of the tallest junior middleweights you'll see. Demetrius Andrade is 6'1", with a very good reach on him. Willie Nelson is six foot three. <laughs> All right, very, very tall guys for junior middleweight. You get heavyweight fights where the guys are this type of height, just to put it in perspective. Now, the last time I saw Willie Nelson, I have to confess, was several fights ago when he lost to Ivanis Martirosian. He did have some success in that Martirosian fight, but ultimately he was found left wanting. Found, you know, he was he came up short. And the last time I saw Demetrius Andrade, God, who was he fighting? Several fights ago as well. He hasn't fought for nearly a year, Demetrius Andrade. So we have to be mindful of potential ring rust. Will he still have the sharpness necessary to deal with Willie Nelson, who is an awkward guy? Uh, you know, if only for the fact that he's so tall. Demetrius Andrade is definitely used to being the taller fighter against virtually everybody he faces. A six foot one, you know, fighting junior middleweights. Most of the guys are like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, 5'10 is a, a fairly decent height for a junior middleweight. So when you're talking about 6'1", yeah, Andrade's usually got the reach advantage and the height advantage. So it's going to be interesting seeing how he switches up his style maybe a little bit to deal with the height deficit against Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson... Not necessarily the best long range boxer. He tries at times to take advantage of his height and reach, but quite often he gets involved and he's fairly hittable a lot of the time. So I, I, I just think that Andrade is the better school to the two. I think he's the faster, the slicker, probably hits harder as well. So I'm looking for an Andrade, as I say, points win, possibly late stoppage. But Willie Nelson's got heart and he'll try and he'll be in there doing his thing for as long as he can. Uh, he'll probably end up quitting on his stool now and now after I've <laughs> you know, given him all, the, all that praise saying he's, uh, he's got heart and whatnot. But yeah, I think Willie Nelson will try his best. He'll make it interesting, but ultimately class will be the difference despite the ring rust and... Uh, yeah, I've already told you my prediction. So drop your predictions in the comment section below, people. Do you see Willie Nelson springing the upset here? You think he can take advantage of the fact that Andrade's been out the ring for so long? The ring rust? Do you think he can take advantage of his height advantage? I don't know if he's got a reach advantage here. I know he's got a height advantage. It was very apparent from the, uh, the face-off, the weigh-in and all that, how much taller Willie Nelson really is. So you let me know what you think in the comment section below and give me your last minute predictions, all right? So I got Andrade on this one. It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.